हरे कृष्णा एजुकेशन इज मेंट टू रिमूव इग्नोरेंस एंड रिस्टोर इनोसेंस नॉट टू रिमूव इनोसेंस एंड री इनफोर्स इग्नोरेंस एजुकेशन इज अ वेरी सेंट्रल एंड सिग्निफिकेंट फीचर ऑफ टूडेज कल्चर एंड ये often the fruits of that education are quite disappointing even from a material perspective people struggle to get jobs from the perspective of character not always the educated people are well formed in their character and from a spiritual perspective not many educated people think about life's big questions so what is wrong what is missing actually it is the purpose of education that has been lost in the bhagavad gita when krishna talks about knowledge and of course knowledge is what is to be gained by education knowledge is described in terms of virtues to be internalized not uh, degrees to be acquired so it describes 20 qualities of knowledge and at the end 1312 in the bhagavad gita states in a series of five verses adhyatma gyan nityatvam tattva gyanartha darshanam etad gyanam iti proktam agyanam yadato anyatha that to understand the spiritual it's that only spiritual knowledge is eternal because only spirit is eternal and that तत्व ज्ञानार्थ दर्शनम टू परस्यू फिलोसॉफिकली द सर्च फॉर रियालिटी ऑल दीज आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ नॉलेज एंड बियॉन्ड दैट वॉट एवर इज देयर इज इग्नोरेंस सो ब्रॉडली स्पीकिंग सर्टनली नॉलेज वन पर्पज इज टू रिमूव इग्नोरेंस एंड इग्नोरेंस यूर रेफर्स टू वॉट अल्टीमेटली वी कैन हैव नॉलेज ऑफ लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स we could do a phd in the nature of a wall in a house or the nature of a brick on a wall in a house or the nature of the cement in between two bricks in a wall in a house and that knowledge is useful in its own way for earning a living for building a house but ultimately the most important knowledge is the knowledge about the purpose of life what are we living for what are we meant to live for without that knowledge if that re- re- ignorance is not removed then knowledge is not serving its purpose education is incomplete ironically today's education instead of removing ignorance reinforces ignorance how it because of moral relativism and philosophical relativism it makes us believe that actually there is no ultimate reality to be known there is no truth at all with a t with a capital t truth with a capital t upper case t and therefore people think that 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 there is nothing to be known and thus their ignorance gets reinforced because not only do they not know about an ultimate reality they think there is nothing to be known and often people get a whole array of misconceptions about the nature of reality based on the prevailing materialistic world view that is predominant in today's mainstream culture and academia and thus they start thinking of themselves as simply physical uh, bodies as bags of protoplasm hurtling from life toward death meaninglessly and it is a very depressing and life denying vision of life and another purpose of uh, knowledge education is not just to remove ignorance but to restore innocence innocence here means that we at our core are pure innocence is not in the sense of criminality and being free from crime it is just it is in the sense of purity just like children are often innocent they don't have any especially when they are small they don't have any gullible manipulative motives usually so the we are at our core souls and the soul being a part of god is godly is pure so education is also meant to bring about a transformation by which our innocence is restored 
that we realize ourselves spiritually and we become pure we start following the process start living the living the life according to the values that purifies us unfortunately today's education removes innocence often we are exposed to such a, a materialism and sensuality in the educational campuses that people lose whatever innocence they may have and this is the perversion of education of course we can't stop very easily the course of mainstream education but at the same time but at, at the very least we can offer everyone an alternative by give off by sharing the spiritual wisdom of the bhagavad gita by which they have at least the door open for the education that will remove ignorance and restore innocence thank you hare krishna